Hi everybody, welcome back to my Wednesday video blog series. Today I want to talk about mental toughness. We all are mentally tough. I deal with a lot of clients, very successful clients, athletes who achieve great things in their lives because they are mentally tough. Mental toughness is our friend. It helps us to achieve things in life, to break the record or 10K or half marathon, to finish those hard workouts, to create the physique that we want, to finish projects, etc. You all know what mental toughness means. But when does mental toughness hurt your body and your ability to have joy in your life? So I can help myself and I'll talk a little bit about adrenal fatigue. A lot of you have heard the term adrenal fatigue and if you haven't, don't worry about it. I'll present some examples here of um, adrenal fatigue that you should be listening to. And if you're experiencing any of those signs or symptoms that I'm going to be talking about today, talk to your health practitioner, um, have a consultation with me or anybody that can help you to deal with those symptoms because if you keep pushing through because you're mentally tough it will cost you much more in the long run and if you want to learn more about adrenal fatigue or anything that I'm talking about today check adrenal fatigue book by uh, James Wilson that's a great resource of uh, information but let's talk about practicality so as many of you know, as I shared my last blog last week, I was experiencing some emotional stress. And I call a lot of times emotional stress that, that silent stressor, right? Because you want to push through, you want to get up at work, you want to distract yourself, and you want to kind of not feel those emotions of sadness or even depression. So let me share with you a little bit what I experienced for two weeks. I experienced mild depression, lightheaded, when I was standing up, my creativity and productivity level completely fell, and I was fatigued a lot. Another thing that I experienced is that I was sleeping eight, nine hours a night and still feeling fatigued. So these are clear signs of adrenal fatigue, and you can even get rid of the word adrenal. It's they're just signs that your body is going through a period, period that needs more rest, that needs to do workouts that are gentle or working ins. They, it's time that we need to walk instead of run. So another sign that I had that I was very depleted is that every time I tried to run, it felt like I never ran in my life. It felt like I was carrying an extra 20 pounds. So a lot of times I had to stop running and I just walked because I did not have the energy to run. So here are some signs of chronic fatigue or some signs that your adrenals are working too hard and you need to listen to. Very common signs are you always tired in the morning. When you wake up you need to have three cups of coffee and you're not really wake until 10, 11 a.m. in the morning. Sleep doesn't relieve your fatigue. You slept the whole weekend and you're still tired weak, low energy during your workouts. So that's a clear sign, just as I was describing during my runs, I just felt so slow. So if you hit in the gym and you start doing your exercises, if you're not lifting the same amount of weights that you usually do or a little more, it's definitely a time to work in instead of working out. And um, if you have questions about working in, just shoot me an email and I'm happy to help you. Exhaustion after exercise. I experienced some of that too. I'll go for my runs, think I would feel better, and it made me feel more tired. Low sex drive. We ignore that a lot, but it's not normal not to have weekly sex drive. So if you're going weeks or a month or two months without the desire of having sex, there is an issue there. Low ability to handle stress. Everything starts to get overwhelmed. You, you get irritable with little things. you edgy. That's another clear sign that something is going on. So this list goes much bigger, but I find this the most common signs with myself and also my clients. So what do you do when you catch yourself feeling all those things? It's time to pause, to switch your workouts, to maybe for a week or two, 
just tweak your diet, clean, um, clean up your, your nutrition, and maybe just take walks in nature instead of working out or running. I know that's hard because you're mentally tough and you just want to push through, but again, you need to listen to your body. When you're mentally tough and your body is well rested, magic happens. That's when you get your best workouts and you feel so energetic. But when you're doing all those things that you know gives you energy and you're feeling tired instead, please listen to it. Take a pause, switch things around, rest more, walk more, and be gentle on yourself. So those are my tips for today. I look forward to seeing you next week.